there's nothing against register offices, but it's highly unusual to see a royal marriage here in Kensington. The bridegroom, Pierre Olof, is 26, a white Russian, and a geologist. But what made it important was, of course, the bride, daughter of ex-King Farouk of Egypt. As if it were an everyday wedding, Princess Fadia and her mother, ex-Queen Farida, arrived in a mini. What a different scene it was in 1938 in Cairo, when Farida married 18-year-old Farouk. He had then been only two years on the Egyptian throne. A lifetime in royal splendor seemed to be opening before the beautiful bride of the young king. But eventually he divorced Farida, married again, was deposed and exiled. In Capri, Farouk gloomily pondered upon his future. Queen Nariman, sitting on the left, had borne him a male heir to a vanished throne. With him were his three daughters, the youngest, a little girl of eight, the now 21-year-old Princess Fadia, a male heir but no throne. Back to Kensington to the register office where Pierre Olof and Princess Fadia were made man and wife. Ex-Queen Farida stands on the left. To the bride, the glories of the Egyptian monarchy can be no more than a faded memory. A free woman, Fadia has been able to marry the man she loves. And what are palaces and processions beside true happiness? <laughs>